Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Yahweh. I just want to thank you, Yahweh. Oh, yes, I thank you. Thank you, Yahweh. Oh, yes, I thank you, Yahweh. I just want to thank you, Yahweh. Oh, yes, you saved my life. You saved my life. Say my life, and I just want to thank you, Yahweh. Oh, yes, I thank you, Yahweh. I thank you, Yahweh. Oh, yes, I thank you, Yahweh. want to thank you, Yahweh. Oh, yes, you bless my life. You bless my life. Oh, yes, you bless my life. And I just want to thank you, Yahweh. Oh, yes, I thank you, Yahweh. I thank you, Yahweh. Oh, yes, I thank you, Yahweh. I just want to thank you, Yahweh. I just want to thank you, Yahweh. I just want to thank you, Yahweh. Praise be to Yahweh, all honor to his name. Praise be to Yahweh and Yahshua his son. Blessed be the spirit that makes this body one. Praise be to Yahweh and Yahshua his son. Peace be on Yahshua, the Messiah we serve. Redeemed us few Hebrews and has given us his love. Filled with his spirit, his kingdom we see. The spirit of Yahweh that's in this family. Praise be Yahweh, all honor to his name. Praise be to Yahweh and Yahshua his son. Blessed be the spirit that makes this body one. Praise be to Yahweh and Yahshua his son. Peace be on Yahshua, the Messiah we serve. Redeemed us few Hebrews and has given us his love. Filled with his spirit, his kingdom we see. The spirit of Yahweh that's in this family. Praise be to Yahweh, all honor to his name. Praise be to Yahweh and Yahshua.
Yahshua, his son, KC on his throne, the Messiah we serve. The of Yahweh that's in this family. Praise be to Yahweh, all honor to his name. Praise be to Yahweh and Yahshua, his son. Blessed be the spirit that makes this body one. Praise be to Yahweh and Yahshua, his son. Hallelujah. Peace be on Yahshua, the Messiah we serve. Redeemed us few Hebrews and has given us his love. Hallelujah. Filled with his spirit, his kingdom we see. The spirit of Yahweh that's in this family. The spirit of Yahweh that's in this family. The spirit of Yahweh that's in this family. Hallelujah. 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 I praise Father Yahweh for you, and I thank you for allowing me into your home. This is part two of Praise You, Yahweh, or Hallelujah. As I shared on part one, I have this large track, which is called Hallelujah. Praise you, Yahweh. If you would like it, all you have to do is write, call, or even come to the congregation of Yahweh, 342 Sylvania Avenue in the Bell Super area. We praise Father Yahweh for allowing us to uh, present various messages over these 23 years. We thank Father Yahweh for his keeping power. I thank him for what he's done in my own individual life and what he's doing for your life as well. We praise Father Yahweh for sending Yahshua into the world, because had he not sent him, listen, by now when I look back at what happened during Noah's time, for all the wickednesses in the world, we probably all would be gone. But I praise Father Yahweh for sending Yahshua the Messiah, his son, to represent himself, to speak the word that he wanted him to speak. He came to do Father Yahweh's will, not his own will. And so even as we come, we have to do uh, Father Yahweh's will. He puts in us the will and to do. And as we, he calls us to speak various messages, we must do what he's calling us to do. And so should you if you want to live eternally. And I know that there are many people, hallelujah, who are seeking for eternal life. We praise Father Yahweh for his goodness. And we thank him for his mercy. For his mercy endures forever. Before we begin this message, let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eternal and gracious Father Yahweh, creator of heaven and earth through your son, Yahshua. Father Yahweh, we thank you for your keeping power, and we magnify your name. We thank you for sending Yahshua into this world to live a righteous and a holy life. We thank you, Father, that his life and death and his burial, and most of all, his resurrection, allows us, Father, to have a, a chance to enter into the gates of the city, to eat from the tree of life to receive all the commands, um, the blessings that you said that we would have, even in the book of Revelation. Father, we thank you for your keeping power, and we lift up the household of faith and all of its family members and leaders, every leader, Father, who will speak your truth. We ask your mercy, your blessing. We ask your extended grace upon their lives. Father, for those who yet cannot see, we ask you, Father, to take the scales off their eyes. For those who cannot yet hear, to unstop their ears. Father, for those who cannot receive your word, to break up the fallow ground of their heart, that they might receive your word, that they might walk in the light of your word, that they might do those things that are pleasing before you. Father, we thank you. We love you. We magnify your name. Father, we thank you for all things. For We thank you for all the things that you have done for us in all of our life, Father. And while our life is not over, we just thank you for your keeping power. Thank you for the promises and the blessings and the covenants that you made with us that come down from Abraham, Yazak, and Yaakov, for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We thank you, Father, for your keeping power. We thank you for all that you've done and all that you're doing and all that you shall do in the lives of your people. Father, we thank you for the process. We thank you for the plan. We thank you for the straight and narrow road at the straight gate. 
Father, help many to get off that broad road where that leads to destruction. Help them get on to the straight and narrow road, Father. Draw them, convict them, Father. Show them your will. Show them your way. Help them to do the things that would be pleasing before your sight. Father, we'll be so careful to give you the praise and the honor, for we give it to you in the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, your Son, our Savior, our Master, and our soon-coming King. We say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Again, I thank you for allowing me into your home. This is part two of Praise You, Yahweh, or Hallelujah. And while I'm not going to go over this large track this time, because I did it in part one, but I want you to know that it's available to you, as well as forgiveness, um, deliverance, uh, persecution, and cry holiness. Father Yahweh has called me to, to cry holiness, holiness unto Yahweh. Sometime in the congregation, most of the time, and sometime even when I'm there by myself, I sing, holiness unto Yahweh is our watch, word, and song. Holiness unto Yahweh as we're marching along. Sing it, shout it loud and long. Holiness unto Yahweh now and forever. Hallelujah. And so we march and that's what we sing. And it's holiness unto Yahweh because even in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, I mean Exodus chapter uh, 28, when Father Yahweh gave the commandment for uh, what was supposed to be done for the, um, the priests were supposed to have a mitre, and on that mitre was supposed to have a gold chain, which was like a signet or something that you could press on a stamp pad and put a, a symbol on a pad. But it was to say, holiness to Yahweh. Holiness unto Yahweh. Holiness to Yahweh. And so today, because of the times that we're in, Father Yahweh is calling many to cry holiness. Cry holiness. Father Yahweh has a way that he wants us to think, hear, speak, go, and do. He has a way he wants us to dress. And when we really think about, look, for all the things that I see, and even thinking back on my own life, I had to say, oh, wickedness, wickedness, wickedness. Because all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh. And because we've all come short, there are times now when we must and must quickly turn and begin to do the things that Father Yahweh is calling us to do. I know sometimes people say, oh, you're trying to make people do something. I'm not trying to make anybody do anything, but I'm trying to get people to see and hear what Father Yahweh is saying. Father Yahweh loves us. The scripture says, for Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. One thing I know and two things for sure, Father Yahweh called the people out of a people, and yet as he's calling that people out of a people, and, he, and they do the work that they're supposed to do, to spread forth the good news all around the world. Those who hear and come to faith in Yahshua and begin to do the work that he's calling them to do, the scripture says, repent and be immersed, every one of you, in the name of Yahshua the Messiah, for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so at that point, if we do what we're supposed to do by faith in Yahshua and receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit allows us to be enter into the kingdom of Yahshua because Yahshua's kingdom will be first, or Yahweh Shua, Yahweh is our Savior, and since he sent his son to do the beginning work, to, to create everything, and to speak to those of us who need to hear and so if we hear what Father Yahweh is saying, then we know that we can be the people that he's calling for in these last and evil days. One thing that happens is that sometime if we don't know what Father Yahweh's word says, if we have never read it, if we have never read the word of Yahweh from bare sheet to Revelation, from Genesis to Revelation, and even the Apocrypha, which shows things that happened to our foreparents, then we won't even know what Father Yahweh is calling us to do. And if we don't know, then we end up doing a whole lot of wickedness. 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 
and that wickedness causes us to be taken out of the earth. But the righteous shall inherit the land. And so Father Yahweh had promised our foreparents as he even spoke to Abraham, Yazak, and Jacob, you know him as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But as he spoke to them and he gave them the word that they, he gave covenants to them, he gave commandments to them, he gave blessings to them, and he even promised some things. And yet, if we today don't know what Father Yahweh is saying for us to do, and we are not being obedient to his will, then we have to recognize that many things are going to happen that we don't want to happen. Father Yahweh truly loves us. And that's why he gave us his word written on paper, written on scrolls. If I took this large track and rolled it up, <laughs> you would have a scroll. And yet, when we really think about the fact that we now have the scriptures and we don't have to have a hundred scrolls because the scriptures were so many that if we had scrolls, we would have to unroll it, unroll it, and, and how many of us could have afforded it in the way that it was. And yet, once they made the Gutenberg Press, then they began to make Bibles. And unfortunately, they also did some things in their translation. They did not transliterate the word, but they took some things out and put some other things in. But as we are coming, and we're coming to say hallelujah, hallelujah, and to praise Father Yahweh, we want to be able to do what Father Yahweh is calling us to do. Father Yahweh over the years has given many prophecies for me to give. And as I have given those prophecies, I guess some of the ones in the middle, woo, some of the ones in the middle cause a lot of things to begin to happen. But one thing that I know, and two things for sure, no matter what happens, we must speak the word of Yahweh. Father Yahweh says, speak my word, my people will hear. And so if his children truly have those ears to hear, then they are going to begin to do the work that he calls them to do. Anyone who wants to continue to do their own way, uh-oh, they are going to be judged and found wicked, unrighteous, sinful, and they will end up in the lake of fire. That is in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 20 talks about the beast, the false prophet, Lucifer, Satan, the devil, the serpent, being thrown into the lake that burns with fire, and yet the scripture shows that a fire is going to come out from the midst of him and destroy him and turn him into ashes. So we've got to look at the word. We've got to read the word, as I said, from Bereshit, Genesis, as you may know it, all the way to Revelation and see what the scriptures say so that we as a people in this world can do the things that Father Yahweh is calling us to do. Search out, see who you are. Are you a Hebrew? Are you a Gentile? Are you acting like a Gentile? We have to do the things that Father Yahweh is calling us to do. The scripture shows that even, even in Romans, our people do not know who they are and they've set up their own kind of righteousness. But we must do the righteousness that Father Yahweh is calling us to do. Anyway, as I've shared, Father Yahweh over the years has given me many prophecies to give. And even as I have given those different prophecies, and sometimes he told me, he said, type them up, print them up, and go and deliver them. And I did that. And so sometimes I had to go. He told me to go. Where to take them? And I went all around as far as I could go, and sometimes I mailed them, and sometimes I'd send them to somebody else, and they would uh, copy them and send them wherever they needed to go. How can the good news go all around the world before Yahshua comes if there are not a people who do the work? Father Yahweh in prophecies of the past, even before I ever went to the congregation, he said, it is my people, it is my people who are going to fall in the last days. It is my people who are going to fall. Who's going to warn them that they turn from their sin, that they begin to serve me and worship me and walk in, in the light of my word? Who? Who's going to do that? And so he calls different ones to do the work that he wants them to do. And so today, I even have a word that I must give that showing and sharing what Father Yahweh is saying. So many times as we look in the word, his word is telling us exactly what we are supposed to do. Anyone who is to remain on this earth must worship and serve Yahweh in spirit and in truth. Yahweh is our heavenly father. He's our savior. He sent his son, Yahshua, to represent 
mankind, to die for mankind. And as he sent him, we as a people must believe in him by faith and keep the commandments. Some people say, oh, I don't want to be under the law. Listen, the law that we don't want to be under is the law of sin and death. Romans chapter 8, verse 1 and 2. It talks about uh, the law of life in Yahshua the Messiah and the law of sin and death. We don't want to be under the law of sin and death because if we're under the law of sin and death, then we won't be here to praise Yahweh. But as long as we're in, under the law of life in Yahshua the Messiah, because he came, he came to give us life and that more abundantly. And because he came to give us life and that more abundantly, then we have to recognize that we must walk in Yahshua's footsteps. As Father Yahweh orders our steps by his spirit, by his word, as we see what the scriptures say to us, and we say, oh, oh, can't do that anymore. Oh, but I need to do this. And when we do that, Father Yahweh begins to bless us. We need abundant life. We need eternal life. The only way to attain eternal life is to read through these scriptures. The scripture says, how can you believe in someone, Romans chapter 10, how can you believe in someone of whom you have never heard? How can you hear without a preacher? How can a preacher preach except they are sent? And if, this peop if the preachers are speaking the word or speaking words to you and they're not showing you how to live, then you're not hearing the true word. And so we have to recognize that as Father Yahweh is called up many out of darkness into his marvelous light, and yet some people are still sitting on benches, not doing anything. They're, they might be praising, but they're not praising Yahweh. They may be serving, but they're not serving Yahweh because they have not begun to keep Father Yahweh's commandments by faith in Yahshua the Messiah. And as long as we don't do what Father Yahweh is telling us to do, then guess what? We're out of the ark of safety. Remember Noah, when Father Yahweh <laughs> told him to build the ark, and he told the people, he said, it's going to rain. Well, at that time, it had never rained. And yet, when Noah finished the ark, and he got all the animals in, because Father Yahweh drew the animals that were supposed to go in, and he said, put all the food in that you and these animals need to eat. He put them inside the ark, and Father Yahweh closed the door. And listen, they heard the screams of the people. Everyone outside of the ark died. We don't want to die outside of the ark. We want to get inside the ark. We want to be in a place of safety. We want to be able to receive eternal life. And that eternal life comes through and by Yahshua the Messiah. When we say hallelujah, it means praise you, Yahweh. When we say Yahshua, Yahshua means Yahweh is Savior. Shua means Savior or Redeemer. And one thing about it, my maiden name is Jones, and I've said it so many times, but 600 years ago, I could not have written my maiden name, which is Jones. My late pastor, who is deceased since 19, 1997, he, his last name was Johnson, but he could not have written it because there was no J. And so we have to look at some things. I don't share things with people to tear down their faith or to cause them to be angry or mad or whatever. But if we want eternal life, we must turn. We must serve Father Yahweh. We must do the things that he's calling us to do. And as we look into his word, he is doing just what he said. In 2006, he said, Yahshua the Messiah is coming. Every eye shall see him. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the congregation, to the assembly, to the body of Yahshua. He says, Yahshua came to save his people from their sin. His blood, his blood is what cleanses us from sin. And when we believe on him, as the scripture says, he says to us, repent and be immersed, every one of you, in the name of Yahshua the Messiah, for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. We, Yahshua came in his father's name. Sometimes people don't realize that he did. So sometime now I listen to his name, Yahweh Shua. When I go to Jamaica, they say, praise Yahweh Shua. They say Yahweh, not Yahweh. But guess what? There's coming a time because he's sending me back there and they are going to say Yahweh and Yahweh Shua. Hallelujah. We praise Father Yahweh for the words that he gives. And yet Father Yahweh says, even in 2006, Father Yahweh said he's going to shake the heaven, the earth, the sea, the nation, and the dry land. If you look and see all the things that are happening in this world, he is shaking the heavens, the earth, the sea, the nation, and the dry land. There have been earthquakes and floods and, and, and heart attacks and, and mudslides and 
all kinds of things happening, lightning, people falling down dead, sometimes hurt seriously by the things that are happening. And yet, Father Yahweh is calling us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We got to say hallelujah and praise Yahweh for the things that he is doing for us because he's allowing us to see with our eyes. And yet, if we don't see with our eyes and begin to be obedient to the things that he's saying to us, then many things are going to happen to many people. Father Yahweh says, his, it, it, it says, it says, won't you repent and seek him today? For today is the day of salvation. Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the, in the days of provocation when our foreparents provoked him and tested him. You know, they mumbled and they grumbled. They did all kinds of things. But Father Yahweh is calling us today. He said, repent. Humble yourself before his mighty hand. He's looking for a broken spirit and a contrite heart. And yet, if we don't do the things that he's calling us to do, then we will not be in the world. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. The lake of fire, the lake of fire, which is going to be prepared, was first prepared for Lucifer, Satan, the devil, the serpent, for him and the fallen angels. It never was for man because Lucifer was the first to sin. But yet, because he tempted Eve and deceived her, and she ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the next thing you know, here, Adam ate too. And it was told to him, do not eat. But they both ate. So death is promised to each one of us. It's appointed unto man once to die, then the judgment. Some people are going to be born again because of their faith, their obedience, and keeping the commandments of Yahweh by faith in Yahshua. Some people, on the other hand, are going to die twice. They're going to die a natural death, and they're going to die a spiritual death. But we want to be born again. We want to be born and receive a spirit body, just as Yahshua is has right now and be spirit like Father Yahweh is right now. When they said, let us make man in our image, he was showing that, look, there's some things that you just have to look in the scripture and, and lesson by lesson by lesson, get the understanding that you need. Yahshua came born of a woman, born in the flesh, born under the law, animal sacrificial law, and yet today we do not have to do any animal sacrifices. Yahshua was the sacrifice, and the scripture tells us, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. If we don't turn, hallelujah, we will not see, listen, listen, this is our time. Some people say, oh, I got, some people think 2050. I don't even know if we're going to make it to 2050. But if we make it to 2050, we need to be living a righteous and coming unto a holy life. Because if we don't do that, then we have to question where are we going to be. There's many visitations, many visitations. I share with them in the congregation, and I've shared across the air about a visitation. The visitations come in the form of tornadoes and hurricanes and earthquakes and lightning and hail and darkness and uh, what's that? The dust, dust storms and all kinds of things. Job 37, Job 37, Job shows us that Father Yahweh is the one in charge of all the weather conditions. They keep saying Mother Nature. It's not Mother Nature. It is Father Yahweh who does all the things that we see. And they come upon us because of sin. 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 And until the world, we know the world's not going to repent. Everyone is not going to repent of their sin because the scripture shows us. And they repented not of their sorceries and their murders and their idolatries and their wickedness and their abominations. They didn't turn from them. And because they did not turn from them, then those people who don't turn are going to be going to the lake that burns with fire. They're going to die twice. The scripture says, and those who remain at his coming. When Yahshua comes, if there's wickedness like right near him because his, he's going to be so powerful, hallelujah, his spirit is going to like disintegrate, cause them to die. He's going to disintegrate those who are not 
living a righteous life. Maybe I'm using the wrong term. But those who do not live the life that he's calling them to live, they're going to die. And then they're going to die twice. And they're going to have eternal death. We don't want to see people die twice. We want people to be born again. When we have been begotten of the Holy Spirit and we begin to look at the word, we all have to be forgiven of sin. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Yahshua said that. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And then each one of us must be delivered from possession of demons, oppression of demons, affliction of demons. Our spirits got to be healed and, and all kinds of things. And yet, it helps. Once we are delivered, it helps us to walk straight up. Walk. Not, you know, slump down. You know, the woman who was bent over, and she couldn't even get up. She was bent over. I pray for a man like that in Presbyterian Hospital back in the 80s. Man was bent over, could not get up. But when I left that room, the man was sitting up. The man in the bed next to him, he said, I know you have to be, well, he didn't call him Yahweh, but he knew that Yahweh had sent me. He said, because I tried to minister to him since we were become roommates. He said, and I could not get him up. And I don't say that to pat me on the back, because it's Yahweh. Father, Yahweh knows who he wants to make upright and make walk and make see and hear and be able to do what he wants us to do. And yet, look, as you hear the word, each one of us, as we hear the word, each one of us must turn, if we're doing wrong, turn to righteousness and begin to do the things that we are supposed to do. But anyway, continuing with that prophecy, Father Yahweh was showing, uh, he said, don't be surprised like they were in, in Noah's days because of unbelief. The floods, fires, hurricanes, tornadoes, diseases, earthquakes, and hell, hell, hell storms are increasing. Father Yahweh in 2009, he said to us, he said, he said he was tired of sin and his wrath was increasing. He said he was tired of sin everywhere. He said that, um, matter of fact, here it is. Father Yahweh is tired of sin and his wrath is increasing. He's tired of all the sin that is in the land and also what is going on in the church, the synagogue, mosques, the temple, even in, in, uh, um, in the homes and in the businesses. It says, his mercy doors are soon to close. He is sick of title substitutions and false use of incorrect names. He said, his son's name is not J-E-S-U-S. -S. The name given by Father Yahweh was Yahshua, meaning Yahweh is Savior. Yahweh and Yahshua are their true names. There are five sins that were called out by Father Yahweh. Homosexuality, materialism, greed, rebellion, and divination of spirits. Homosexuality, materialism, greed, rebellion and divination of spirits and then he says turn back to his weekly sabbath and feast days he says yahweh time is sunset to sunset seek his face while he may be found yahweh is with you while you are with him and if you seek him you shall find him but if you forsake him he shall forsake you he said we must keep his feast days. His feast days are found in Leviticus chapter 23. And yet the fulfillment of his feast days are in the new covenant. When we saw the blood moon, whether we saw it by television or we actually saw it, I tried to see it by eyesight, but the moon kept going over and over and over and over. But anyway, on television, we saw the blood moon. The scripture says in Matthew 24, verse 29 to 31, and it says, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and you shall see the sign of the Son of Man coming in the clouds. When Yahshua comes back, when he returns, he is coming, it says, as, as the east is from the west. He's coming from heaven. Listen. And yet there's got to be the resurrection as he's coming down. The resurrection must happen. The resurrection of the righteous must happen. And as they, the dead 
and Messiah, Yahshua, are raised first. And then those of us who remain alive are changed from flesh, from life, death, right back to life, from flesh to spirit, meet them in the air with Yahshua coming down. We meet, and then there is the marriage supper. Without that marriage supper, without us being in that marriage supper, we will not have eternal life. And so to be able to be with Yahshua, we must, we must, listen, keep the feast days. Keep Yahweh's commandments, statutes, judgments, precepts, ordinances, his law, his righteousness, his way. I probably left something out, but no matter what, we must keep his law. Because if we're not keeping his law, that means we are a law uh, unto ourselves, following Lucifer. If we follow Lucifer, we're going to the same place Lucifer is going, to the lake that burns with fire. Now listen, Matthew chapter 24, verse 29, and I'm going to read it just like it said. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he shall send his angels with a great sound of the trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven unto the other now listen there's seven heavens according to the book of Enoch the scripture shows three heavens but no matter which one it is they will be going up into heaven one thing that happens, the scripture says, after the tribulation of those days, there's great persecution going on right now. But we're coming to the time of the tribulation. And as we come to the time of the tribulation, we have to recognize that if we're not serving Father Yahweh, if we don't believe by faith in Yahshua, if we're not keeping his commandments because we believe them, because we recognize that the things that he has spoken are true, then guess what? We would be unbelievers. If we're not going to worship on the days when we ought to go, listen, people, oh, I don't think we need to do that. Listen, when it's talking in Colossians, it's talking to believers. And he's saying to them, do not let anyone judge you in meat or in drink. Father Yahweh told us to eat clean. He told us to eat clean. No, no shrimp, uh, swine, lobsters, crabs, none of that stuff. Anything that doesn't have fins or scales, we're not supposed to eat. If it doesn't chew the cud, listen, I know sometimes I'm sharing things that people don't want to hear, but how can you make a decision if I don't share the things that you need to hear? It says, let no one judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of a holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come but the body is of the Messiah, Yahshua. It only has his title. Yahshua is the Messiah. Yahshua HaMashiach. It says, let no one beguile you of your reward in a volunteer humility. Listen, we must humble ourselves before Yahweh. He was looking for a broken spirit and a contrite heart. If we still have pride in us and we want to do what we want to do, listen, we're not going to make it. Let me go to this prophecy, and then I'm going to come back because I have something else I want to read. This is the prophecy Father Yahweh has given. He said, yes, my daughter, I have given you warning to tell my people, America, America, I have blessed you abundantly. You have turned your back upon me, said Yahweh's host. I have blessed you in times past because you blessed Yahshua or Israel. Now you have gone your own way of wickedness and following ravaging wolves, leading you astray. For great famine shall dwell in your land and hunger and thirst of war and hatred because of your own selfish, selfish ways. Have I not warned you in my word, yet you have followed doctrines of men, denied my name, denied my feast days for the feast of Balaam. I cannot look upon you, America, and favor you in my 
in my sight. I must turn my judgments upon you in a far greater digress. I shall place you, I, I shall place upon you greater than in the land of Egypt shall fall upon you. For many shall die of famine. For my Ruach, or Holy Spirit, shall not dwell upon those who reject my son, Yahshua. To those who have not studied my word, nor delved into my word, to seek me earnestly in their hearts for the truth of my word. For the son of perdition has come upon you, and you know not him, nor the false prophets. For these men do not have Israel, I'm going to say Israel, in their hearts, I say Yahshua because they're people named after Yahweh. It says, for they do not love me, saith Yahweh of hosts, nor respect my people and deceive you with lies of men. For you, America, are contrary in your thinking, unstable as a double-minded man going to and fro with every wind of doctrine. For my Sabbath, my Sabbath, my seven-day Sabbath, is holy and is always the seventh day of creation, a day of rest. The seventh day is a holy day, a day of rest. I formed it and appointed it to uh, worship me and to give praise to my name, says Yahweh of hosts. For there is none greater than I, yet you follow pagan holidays of men and their idolatry that give no no honor to me. Repent of your sins of flesh, and I will receive you unto myself, says Yahweh of hosts. For Yahshua came to redeem you from the curse and lies of Satan's destruction and rebellion. His blood was shed for you. For I, Yahweh, created you in the beauty of my spirit to dwell with me in eternity forever. In love, I have redeemed you by sending my son, Yahshua Hamashiach, to show you my way. For my name dwells in him, for he is my salvation. I have spent, I have sent upon the earth, I have sent upon this earth to redeem you. For in him only is there salvation and eternal life. Please repent from your wicked ways and sin, for Yahweh's wrath will be great upon this earth for those who choose Satan's ways. Accept Yahshua. Study and search the scriptures of the Bible. Yahweh's name was in the scriptures before 1611. No J in the Hebrew language. Yahweh's signs are everywhere, especially the blood moons. Study to show yourself and truth to the word of Yahweh. Now listen, in 2004, Father Yahweh gave me just a short prophecy. I didn't understand it. He said, destruction is coming, America is doomed. And back then I watched the Weather Channel as well as PCTV because that's all we had, Channel 21 and sometime the news. When I turned on the TV, then and even in 2006, there were horrible things happening in the world. Mudslides and hurricanes and tornadoes and lightning and all kinds of things that I could see on the news. And, you know, I, I knew then, even as I know even in a greater way now, that Father Yahweh's word must go forth. And I know that sometimes I share things that people do not want me putting out. But I must obey Father Yahweh. And my prayer is that you will listen to the words that Father Yahweh allows to be put across the screen, across television, in writing, however he puts it out. If somebody passes you on the street, we're not sharing the word to be judgmental. We're sharing the word so that those who need to be saved, who want to be saved, that Father Yahweh is drawing, that they are seeking Yahweh with their whole heart, may they find him. He said, because if you seek him with your whole heart, you shall find him. But then we have to turn from our ways and doctrines of men and doctrines of demons and turn and begin to do the word of Yahweh. 
It depends on what we do as to what's going to happen in our life. And yet, even back in 2006, Father Yahweh said he's going to shake the heaven, the earth, the sea, the nation, and the dry land. And yet destruction did come and is coming to America. You know, Father Yahweh said he's tired of sin everywhere not just in the churches, in the homes. He, everywhere, anywhere sin can be formed or made or done, he's tired of sin. Even in the first prophecy in 1999, this is what he said to me. He said, I have laid the foundation. There is no found other foundation laid. You must do it my way. They must do it my way. He said, there are stiff-necked, rebellious people. Yahshua's coming soon. I will not spare. I am loving and tender-hearted and kind. I am a consuming fire. I'm a consuming fire. I'm a consuming fire. I have no pleasure in the death of them that die. They must seek me. They must seek me. They must seek me. It's time out for playing games. There's, they are fighting against me, said Yahweh. They are fighting against me. They are fighting against me. I am soon to come. Time is short. Time is short. Time is short. Time is short. The game is over. The show is over. The mercy door is soon to come. It is a straight road. It is a narrow road. There is no room for twisting on the narrow road, not to the right or to the left. Their ways are not my ways. They are a rebellious house. They must, 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 must turn from their evil ways. There is no time to waste. They must seek me. They must seek me. They must seek me. Father Yahweh told me, he said, do not fear their faces. He says that I was his. You have to be his too. He said, I must tell them. He even told me at that time that they were not going to believe me. I started to cry. I said, Father, why are you giving me a word that they're not going to believe? But I know that a lot of times people do not believe. But when all these things happen that the scriptures have said, that the prophecies have spoken of, then people hopefully then will begin to believe that the words that have been spoken are true words. Father Yahweh loves us. And especially when we turn to him and keep his commandments by faith in Yahshua HaMashiach, Yahshua the Messiah, Yahshua our Savior, Every time you see the word salvation in your scripture, it is the word Yahshua, Yahshua. And so if we recognize that Father Yahweh truly loves us, then we are going to do a work that needs to be done. Father Yahweh wants us to turn from every sin and every weight that does so easily beset us and keep his commandments by faith in Yahshua. And if we keep his commandments by faith in Yahshua, Everything that needs to happen in our life will happen as Father Yahweh wants it to happen because he loves us. He sent Yahshua. Yahshua died for us. Will you come to him? Will you come to him? I'm going to pray a closing prayer. And my prayer is that you, by your spirit, will seek Father Yahweh by faith in Yahshua that you may receive his spirit indwelling you. John chapter 14, verse 23. Dear Heavenly Father Yahweh, in the name of Yahshua the Messiah, we pray, Father, that you will continue to draw those that are your children. We pray, Father Yahweh, that they will seek your face, that they will humble their spirit before your mighty hand, that they will have a broken spirit and a contrite heart, but they will turn from every wicked way, that they will begin to do what your word said to do, repent and believe every one the good news repent and be immersed everyone in the name of Yahshua the Messiah for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit without the Holy Spirit father we know that we cannot be your children but father Yahweh we thank you we thank you for your love we thank you for your mercy and we thank you in Yahshua's name again I just want you to know that you can have these tracks praise you Yahweh or hallelujah uh, one on forgiveness is available. All you have to do is come to the congregation, write, call, or come. Listen, I wish you would come. Deliverance. We all must be delivering, delivered from everything that oppresses. Persecution. There is persecution in the land and tribulation is coming. Cry holiness. Father Yahweh told me to cry holiness. And so I must do what he's telling me to do. My prayer is that you, by the spirit of Yahshua, 
will seek Father Yahweh for all things in Yahshua's name. We pray. Thank you for allowing me into your home. Come. Hallelujah. Beloved, beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know when Yahshua shall appear. But we know when Yahshua shall appear. We shall be like him. We shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Beloved, beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know when Yahshua shall appear. But we know when Yahshua shall appear. We shall be like him. We shall be like him. Hallelujah. For we shall see. Hallelujah. Him as he is. Hallelujah. Hayadatika. For we shall see him. Hallelujah. Him as he is. Hallelujah. Beloved, beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know when Yahshua shall appear. But we know when Yahshua shall appear. We shall be like him. Hallelujah. We shall be like him. Hallelujah. For we shall see him. Hallelujah. He, hallelujah. For we shall see him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For we shall see him. Hallelujah. 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 Haya da si kaya da so koyena moena te kayena. Ye koro so koyena. Ye mayena si kaya da so ya da so ya da so ya da kia. Ye mayena se ya sa kayena. Ye mayena si ya da so. Ye mayena si ya da so koyena. Ye mayena se kayena si ka. Ye haya da si ya. Ye mayena se kayena si ka. Ye kayena si ya. Ye mayena ya de sa kayeno yo ya de si ya. Ye mayena se ha ya de si ya ya de so. Ye mayena se. Ye kada sa ya na. Ye mayena si ya ya de so ko. Ye mayena si ya ya de so. Ye mayena si ya. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes Yahweh. Yes Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Yahweh. Hallelujah. He is mine. He is mine. Joy in my heart and peace in my mind. He is mine. He is mine. Yahshua, I know he I'm singing hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Joy in my heart and peace in my mind. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yahshua, I know he is mine. 
I'm singing hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Joy in my heart and peace in my mind. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 